name is Pete Rasmussen, and I'm working with the Pinocchio Hills Education Project. And I live in Marengo with uh, my son and my wife. And we are uh, very concerned about the proposed Pinocchio mine. Uh, we're concerned about what it would do to places like this. Um, I think that we have an incredible resource in the water that we have here, and that um, to put a price on that is is pretty hard. And and. I think a mine that jeopardizes that without trying to figure out what, what, what's going to be lost um, if a mine were to come into an area like this is an important equation that we have to be thinking about. Um, there's trade-offs with everything that we do. Um, a mine of this scale has never been proposed in Wisconsin. It's industrial strip mining. It's an out-of-state corporation. Uh, that will do their mining and then leave. Uh, we're not getting any answers on how much water they'll use, uh, where the water will come from. Uh, there's water problems in Minnesota and uh, with the taconite tailings up there, and they're not saying what they'll do differently here to avoid that. Um, I think that you know the fact that all of this water drains eventually right into the Bad River and right up into the Bad River Indian Reservation has to be a major concern and that you know they'll be affected more than anybody and so far they're pretty much left out of the conversation and all of this water ends up there. Um, the mine site is surrounded by water. There's 11 trout streams immediately around the area of the mine site. Um, and fresh water is, is one of our most valuable resources moving forward. And at some point, we're going to have to figure out how to do things differently as far as materials we use. We can't just keep digging it. And we can't keep a cycle of carbon, uh, of extracted resource that just keeps this cycle of emitting more and more carbon into our atmosphere and poisoning more and more of our drinking water. So that's why I'm against this mine and why I'm fighting to uh, at least have a very honest dialogue about what, what it will look like if it happens. Jump across the bed. <laughs>